Once upon a time on the high seas, there was a psychopathic, egotistical captain. This captain and his first mate weren't particularly focused on the welfare of their passengers. In fact, they couldn't care less about whether their passengers lived or died. They just wanted to get paid. One day, their apathy got them into serious trouble. Very serious trouble. These two geniuses managed to crash their ship on the coral reef. Let's see uh, what happens. Thank God we made it to the beach. I thought we were going down with the ship. Oh, I don't think I could have made it any further, mate, you know. Oh, what happened? Oh, yes. I don't know. But we know one thing. That bastard captain left us for dead. We set that raft up for everyone. And he just took off with his first mate. Like nothing was wrong. Luke and Joseph go searching for the captain in the beach, determined to find answers. They find the captain sitting on his armchair and approach him aggressively. You! You left us for dead! We set the raft up for all of us! <laughs> and you just disappeared! <laughs> it was a team exercise! Team bonding! Never heard of it? I mean, really, it was... It's quite apparent that as my first officer and I are clearly of a much higher rank than you filthy players, it only made perfect sense for us to go ahead first. And besides, all we've really done is we've come to this island and, and, and scoped it out for, for safety? Yeah, safety. And, and you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> Fine and glorious decision of Captain Mike Captain. Yes, I did it was. Are you saying that island's safe? Um, yes, yes, it's, it's relatively safe. Well, the beach is safe, but at least as far as we've been able to. So, so, what about food? Did you think about that before you abandoned us? Of course I did. Do you think I'm some kind of idiot? I'm an officer, and a fine one too, sir. <coughs> there is plenty of chocolate hidden inside the lining of my raft. <laughs> uh, I don't, sir. What? Hey, hey, hey. I'm diabetic. <laughs> I require sugary snacks to live. <laughs> First mate. Oh. Captain, my captain, what can I do for you? Bind these to something to munch upon and be quick about it. My pedicure is usually around this time. Hi, sir. You men, you heard your glorious captain. Off to it! Quick! March! Let's go in! Get the pies! So Luke and Joseph set off into the jungle, desperate to look for supplies. Both men are getting very hungry and thirsty, therefore getting very cranky. Oh my god, I'm so hungry! I'm so, so hungry! I'm so thirsty! It's terrible! Halt! Well, I guess now that the captain isn't here, I am in charge, and you'll do exactly as I say. Luke, you will go and get firewood. Be quick about it. The captain cannot enjoy his half-strength mocha latte without heat. Yes, sir. We are so thankful for your guidance and wisdom. Yes, very well spoken. <laughs> Joseph? Yes, sir, Captain. What are we, Captain? Without the attitude, you will go and find cocoa beans for the captain. Of course, sir. Well then, get going. The firewood and cocoa beans aren't going to find themselves. Our dear captain is getting hungry. So what are you going to do, mate? Or are you too good for work? For your information, I am going to go and give the captain his daily pedicure. Just because we're stranded on this island doesn't mean that anything changes. Except for the fact 
that were stranded on an island. This exact, wasn't exactly the holiday to die for. Harpe diem, boys. <laughs> Get to work. Be back at the beach in half an hour. <laughs> what a prick. Who made him first? He is so useless. White Star Line, I guess. I mean, I made the Titanic so they have a history of, you know, sinking ships. Who asked you? It was a rhetorical question. Well, I mean, you asked the question. Oh, never mind. Let's go search for these stupid beans. So Luke and Joseph continue to search the jungle, looking for cocoa beans and firewood. They continue to complain about their situation. Stupid island. Oh, it's hot. Little do they know the first man was spying on them and hearing everything that was being said. That's right. I'm a spy. <laughs> this is about to get very serious. So Luke, what do you think about, like, you know, a mutiny? I mean, we stick it to these snobs. Excuse me? Where is your sense of loyalty? For? The captain! On the bottom of the ocean, with my dead family. Oh, shut up. No one cares about your dead family. <laughs> I care about his family, and you're the reason that they're dead. Oh, shut up, Joseph. No one cares what you think. You listen here, mate. That's first mate to you. <laughs> listen here. First mate, I am one smart-ass comment away from rubbing sand into your soon-to-be-dead eyes. Wait until the captain hears about this! Captain! Oh shit, mate, I think he might be dead. <laughs> oh. I guess he really fell for the captain. <laughs> For convenience. <laughs> okay, but why did the first mate die? I mean, I don't think we did anything really that serious to him. Is he really dead? Oh, oh let's see. Oh, oh, could these have something to do with his death? They look like chocolate, but are they? Yeah. Mm. Poisonous chocolate. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> let's go have a chat with the cat. So Luke, is, Luke and Joseph march off to have a chat with the captain, determined to get answers. <laughs> Meanwhile, the captain was chilling on the beach, serenading himself and his pet hat. Hey, hey, hey! While you've been getting down with the lies and the dirty, dirty cheats of the world, you could have been listening to a great man speak. This captain is a hell of a man. We're like, oh my god, there's really no debate. He's the fella over there with the hella great hair. We're like, oh my god, his leadership is great. Uh, it's a tough life being in charge. You've got to be brave, bold, heroic, compassionate. You need to be a liver, a fighter, a lover. <laughs> Thankfully, I am all those things, and so very much more. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to be granted the title of greatest human being to ever exist. Ha! Cop that, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> all I need to do now is to get these filthy barbarians off this barbarianistic island. Then again, maybe I've just brought them home. What a compassionate man I am! <laughs> the tough life, the tough life I lived. Wait, ooh. All this inspirational soliloquy, it's, it's, it's taken so much out of me. I'm just, I'm so hungry. Ah, good thing I have. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Where's the 
shot, it's gone. Boy, that was hard work, Joseph. I could really do with some chocolate. Captain. Hey, Captain. Yeah. You got any chocolate? Can we have some? I, 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 I ain't got. All of it? As, as we established earlier, I am a diabetic. <laughs> I require sugary substances in order to live and to command properly as your quite clearly, easily, you know, spotted, you know, better, quite simply. You know, what this really is, is it's it's a high, it's a high pressure. High pressure? High pressure? Come on, come on, take it easy. Where's your damn insulin then? On the bottom of the ocean. With your dead family! Oh! <laughs> You're dead, cat. I mean, like, not as dead as your family, though, right? Oh! <laughs> At least I had a family. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it! Bring it! Oh, Bring it! <laughs> so the captain manages to escape with a lifeboat. Again, I'm escaping. <laughs> he sees a naval vessel on the horizon. In the time it takes for him to get to the ship, he has concocted a great story to explain how much of a hero he was. Yes, there was, there was really nothing I could do. I was, I was surrounded. Pirates, pirates. They were vicious. They, they were bloodthirsty. They were efficient, killing every man, woman, and child they saw in front of them. I fought them off. Myself, the rest of the crew were cowards. I pulled them off and I did my very best. There were so many of them dead beside me, but in the end, there was naught that I could do but escape, live to fight another day, as a true hero knows to do. That's just it. I'll be a hero. I'll be honored. That's just it. I'll receive a knighthood, a true hashtag captain's call. <laughs> So three months went by. The captain was rescued by the Navy of, uh, Navy of Wadilla, and he was flown back to Australia. When he got back, Prime Minister Tony Abbott <laughs> recommended that the captain was awarded with an Order of Australia for his bravery in the face of adversity. <laughs> To companion of the Order of Australia, please welcome the captain. Woo! How are we going, Canada? <laughs> yes! Her Majesty the Queen has awarded this prestigious Medal of Honor for his excellent bravery and great an exceedingly selfless sacrifice in the face of insurmountable adversity for his long service to White Star Line, his comrades, and the Australian Merchant Navy. I object. <laughs> Guards, remove this man. I bet you don't. I thought you were. You were. What? What? You. You were dead. I hitched a ride with a bunch of sea turtles. Fucking Luke got a bloody sharp. It looks like things turned out pretty well for you, hey? Or any of this? In fact, you're responsible for so many deaths. I don't think you'll mind if one more goes. Yours. Um, let's not turn this into a, a, a media circus. I'm, I'm a fine captain. A, a splendid captain.
Peggy, you come on. Get the checkers to like a couple of days. Some say the train crashed, some say it doesn't exist. Here instead is a dancing penguin. <laughs> <laughs> 